So in this tutorial, we're going to set up a simple express project and connect it to our existing MongoDB instance. So in the last lesson, we left our blogdb.posts collection with a couple of items in it. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to connect Express to the Mongo database and also retrieve these documents from the posts collection when we hit the index route. So let's head over to Visual Studio Code and set up that new Express project. And once we've set up our project and installed the core Express.js dependencies, we'll also go ahead and add the MongoDB library, which will give us all the functions that we need to connect to the MongoDB instance. And with that set up, if we head over to our app.js file within our project directory, let's first of all import the MongoDB library so that we can use it within our application. And we can get an instance of a Mongo client which enables us to connect to the server by first requiring the MongoDB package and then accessing a property on there called Mongo client. Now what we could do within our routing files is put a request to connect to the database inside there and retrieve the data that we need each time the route is accessed. But this is extremely wasteful because the Mongo client will actually create a new connection every time you call the connect function and it can be quite hard to keep track of those and dispose of them when they're no longer needed. Luckily, it's much better for us to actually just create one connection and reuse it throughout the whole application. So we're going to write our connection code within our app.js file and then save a reference to the collection that has the posts documents, which we can then reuse within any of our routes. So the Mongo client connect function takes two things. The first is a string that is the URL to our MongoDB instance, which is just running on localhost with that particular port number. And if you remember in Compass, those were the exact details that we had set up as well. Within the string as well, we reference the database that we were going to be connecting to, just so the client understands how to correctly set up the connection. The other thing we pass in is a error first callback, which hopefully will return the client for us so that we can actually access the collections within the database. So using the client that's returned to us, we can actually access the blog DB database, which if you remember from the previous lesson is the name that we gave to the database. And then from the database, we can actually access each of its collections. And here I'm just retrieving the posts collection and saving it in a variable called collection. The final thing that I'll do to enable us to share this collection across different parts of the application is save a reference to this collection variable inside app.locals. And you'll see in just a second that this is a special object that can be accessed in other parts of the Express application. So that's all we need to do in our app.js file. Let's head over to the index route and actually get the data from our MongoDB connection. And of course, the first thing that we do is just extract that collection property from the app.locals object. Then from that collection, we actually call a function called find to retrieve data from our posts collection. So if you remember from the previous video, when we wanted to narrow down our search for documents within our collection, key value combination, to find any documents that match that particular criteria. So simply passing a blank object into find should return all of the documents within the collection. We can then call another function on top of that called toArray, which as the name suggests, will put all of the documents into a nicely ordered array for us. And because this actually returns a promise, we can actually hook into the then function and in the function inside there, access the data and send it to the response or the res object from Express. In fact, let's change the name of this to data just to make it a little clearer as to the distinction between res and response. Okay, so if we go ahead and run that and head over to the browser, when we access the index route from localhost, you can see we're getting the blog posts that we created within Compass in our MongoDB instance from the previous lesson. So hopefully that's shown you how you can quickly set up a connection to MongoDB, share that connection across different parts of your app, and run a simple query to return data from the MongoDB database. 
In the next lesson, we'll look at how you can filter your results to find a particular document and look at some of the other CRUD operations like updating and deleting documents.